Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am back today with a small haul from Michaels and this includes some of their brand new hot buy paper pads as well as one of their new Christmas card making kits. I was at a Michaels um, out of state yesterday and I decided to just um, stop by see if they had any of the new paper pads and they did and they were only five dollars and you know that that is when I buy them I did go to my Michaels this morning to see if they had any different patterns because I think I found like four or five different ones yesterday my Michaels did have a lot more selection but they were now full price again at twenty dollars so I'm gonna have to check in next Sunday to see if they are on sale again and maybe I will grab a few more because I did like a couple more that I would like to have. So I thought I would show you quickly which ones I bought and then I will do flip throughs of each of these and I'm not sure if they'll be posted today but I will definitely get them posted in the next couple days so if you might want to go by your Michaels to see if they have any. Now before I get to the paper pads I did want to share this card kit that I got. It is a recollections card kit and they had a whole bunch and a lot of them were very cute. Lots of shaker card kits, which you know I love a good shaker card kit. But this one I liked because it reminded me of some upcoming inspiration for the Oh So Inspired collab. And I thought, you know what, I had a 60% off coupon so I ended up getting it for right around four dollars and it makes six cards but what I thought I could do is save one of these the main focal point is this little deer here and you actually use floss and a needle to cross stitch the deer's antlers well what I thought I would do because I believe I have a deer head die I thought I would save one of these cards so I could use this for a piercing guide and make my own cross stitch antlers on, you know, maybe pocket letters or scrapbook pages or traveler's notebooks or something like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and give you a look at the paper pads that I bought. I did buy four and the first one was called Mary Everything. And it's, um, you know, a Christmas theme, but there's hot cocoa. And besides the regular red and green for Christmas, they do add some nice blues and greens. And of course, there's lots of gold foil. The next pad I bought is called Ice Crystals. And this one has very soft blues and greens. There's some gray, and then there's also some foiling. And it's kind of like a blue silvery foiling. Ice crystal seems very fitting for the color that the foiling is. Inside there are also some cut apart sheets. Again, I will share a flip through of each of these with you um, either later today or throughout this week. The third paper pad I bought is Say Freeze and it is a snowman theme. There's poinsettias also and in the background of some of these papers is like a wood grain kind of texture feeling. There are glitter accents instead of metallics and some pretty snowflakes here too. And last but not least from what I bought is always Christmas paper pad. This has some gold foiling and is pretty much just your standard red, green, and white for Christmas. And all of these that I bought were Craftsmith paper pads. And I honestly can't remember the ones I saw today at my Michaels, if they were also Craftsmith or if there were some recollections in there. If you would like to see me unbox and complete one of these, why don't you um, give me a thumbs up and let me know below. And I'll kind of give my opinion on if this is worth the money. Now I'd say $10. I mean, that's questionable to me anyway, but I only had to pay four for it. So I could um, do a card on camera, kind of give you an idea of the quality 
of what's inside the box. I will link the last Michaels kit I put together up in the corner now. And you know, while I thought they were totally cute, um, I wasn't too impressed with that kit. But from just taking out the little um, cross stitch piece, it does feel like a nice quality card stuck on that. So I'm hoping the rest of the kit is the same. So if you want to see me unbox that and put one together, again, thumbs up and let me know below. If you liked that look at my little Michaels haul, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Again, I will be sharing flip throughs of the paper pads shortly. If you are not already a subscriber and you would like to be notified of when I upload those videos, I hope you'll subscribe and then hit the little bell so you're notified of new videos that I've uploaded to my channel. And if you're already a subscriber, as always, thank you so much for stopping back by. If you have any questions or if you just want to leave a comment, feel free to do that below. I always love to read those. And if it is a question, I get back to you just as soon as I can. I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.